Welcome back. It's eight o'clock. It's the in-house show. We are live in the studio here at the CFM Towers. And what a party we're having. It's a, it's a house full in here. Everybody make some noise. Let them know you're here. Hey, that's it. Right. What can I say about my next guest? Easily some of East Lothian's finest produce. They don't come fresher than this young man. Kind, humble and generous. Just a few of this fitness fanatic's shining traits. He's recently found abundance in giving back to the world with some brave and incredible charity work. As a performing artist, this DJ has grown from strength to strength. No fast track one way ticket for this guy. He's had to work from the muddy fields of the Borders Festivals all the way to Elation Residency and the Liquid Rooms. Appearances at Glasgow's SWG3 Platform Festival, Cab Vol, and many, many more. All of his, uh, all of this has gained his attention from promoters and DJs across the globe. Connor was one of our first guests back in the spring. We have eagerly awaited his return, going boldly into promotional territory where few East Lothian men have gone before. He's here tonight with his best friend and fellow founder of Elation Edinburgh and Elation Agency, Jack Withers. Big up, Jack Withers. How you doing, man? And uh, you may know him as one of the guys who's booked Deborah DeLuca. I'm hoping he's brought us some tickets. Uh, you know him as Mr. Topsy. We know him as Mr. Connor Coventry. Welcome, Mr. Connor Coventry, everybody. Connor, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm good. Thank buzzing, you. buzzing to be here, mate. Buzzing. Thank you so much for your return, man. It's been too long. I know, Where it's you been? been? A minute. Uh, pff, in hiding, mate. In hiding. Yeah, in hiding, yeah. <laughs> uh, you've been working hard, though. You've been training hard and you've been working as well, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just a mixture. Uh, training, grafting, obviously still doing the DJ stuff now and then. Looking like a, a big year for elation as well, so. But you've been all over the place. You've been playing everywhere. You've been playing Cab Vol weeklies over December. You've yeah. been playing in Glasgow. Tell us a bit about what's been going on. Uh, yeah, so last year was quite mega. Obviously, had like li- the likes of Liquid Rooms, Cab Vol, uh, Fly Open Air, um, done Platform Festival in Glasgow as well. That was sick. Big ups, Frazier, for that one. Um, and yeah, it was just good experience, mate. Just blessed, blessed to be doing it and playing in front of a crowd, you know, instead of the, the bedroom wall. So, yeah. So the doors are really opening now. The venues are really taking on the brand, aren't they? So yeah, no, totally, totally, totally. Big ups, big ups, Jack, for that one. Is Could, it couldn't have done it without him, to be honest? Is so. it getting easier to to book venues? No, harder. Is it getting more stressful? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, to an extent, to an extent. It seems quite saturated nowadays, but uh, I think Alation's doing well. So, but what one about of you? The lucky ones. What about you from a DJ point of view? How's the music keeping you going through those stressful moments? <laughs> um, yeah, just obviously just love love techno, love music in general. It's just, you know, it's therapeutic in a sense. Um, it's uh, obviously as soon as you tuck, uh, chuck a bit of the techno on and that, it's, it's hard not to have a wee two-step and want to just go out and get on it. You look like you're really enjoying it at the moment. Yeah, 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 I am. The energy in the club is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, no, last year was good, uh, especially December, obviously Cab Vol, Liquid Rooms gig, it was a busy month. Um, yeah, it's quite hard when you go back to the sort of nine to five though and you, you know, you've just played a big crowd and you've been buzzing off it and you're like, oh, I could do this full time one day, hopefully, so. Not everybody's cup of tea, the heavy techno. Nah, not everyone's, to be honest. Um, but yeah, you've got to play a mixture as a DJ. You've got to adapt to the occasion. It's all about a good warm-up set as well. Can't just go straight in at 150 BPM on a warm-up, as we all know. Somebody, somebody said to me recently that nothing's been happening in music, that there's no culture anymore, there's no sort of uh, like expansion. But I disagree, because techno really is thriving at the minute. It kind of reminds me of the punk scene, the, like back in the day, the energy, just the tops off, sweating, oh, yeah, yeah, just yeah, the totally, intense. Totally. Like People are really passionate about their techno at the moment. Yeah, no, it's, it's the in thing, especially the, the harder, faster techno. I think, think that's the most appealing to, to everyone at the moment, especially the younger crowd in that. Um, but yeah, it's it's good to keep it real and obviously, you know, listen to DJs that don't just play fast BAPMs as well. Like the uh, drum code genre, for instance, me and Jack absolutely love that. That's kind of our roots when it comes to techno. So we obviously like to book the big, hard, fast DJs. We would like to book some, some maybe slower BPM DJs. Hopefully it would sell as well, but we'll see. It's all about just building the brand and, you know, it's not about who you book. It's about just the brand and the night being a good night in general and not just go doing the sort of headline names to bring the crowd so do you feel like the demand is for the harder faster stuff at the moment yeah yeah 100%. it's still there yeah, completely you can't, can't go wrong like yeah you can't go wrong you can't go wrong yeah you can't go wrong <laughs> can't go wrong happy days man so massive bookings it's, it's the biggest year so far for you guys without a doubt tell us what is happening on saturday the 2nd of march 
Uh, Friday the 1st Friday the 1st sorry yeah, I yeah, apologise yeah. my bad Friday, Friday the 1st uh, so we have uh, Italian techno queen Deborah DeLuca booked for the SWG free galvanisers uh, we've just announced our second room with our up and coming DJ called Vaselli he's headlining that room is going to be our broad range of support as well local uh, local talent mixture um, it's looking to be a big one probably the biggest one yet and hopefully should open more, more and more doors going forward for 2024 and beyond so where can we get tickets? Uh, Elation Edinburgh Bio. Uh, well, you could just search it on Skiddle, but if you search at Elation Edinburgh on Instagram, check out our page. You can click the link tree in the bio, and there's tickets for all events on there. Um, we also have Fat Soma with our Fat Soma reps, discounted tickets as well. So that's one to watch out for. Killing it, man. Killing it. Yeah. So proud of you. Keep it up. Keep it going. Uh, right. You just answered my last question. Where can people find you? So that's the social media. So Instagram, Facebook, Elation Edinburgh. Yeah, that's Elation, the best Elation place. Edinburgh, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. And what about any thriving young talent? Tell us a bit about Elation Agency and what's the, what's the plans there? Uh, so yeah, Jack's just recently... Well, Jack's now Do an I, agent. So. Jump in. <laughs> Aye, come on, Jack. Jump in. Jack Weathers in the house, everybody. Elation Agency. Yeah. Yeah. Deserve yeah. some credit. We've basically got a couple of... Uh, Local local artists that we want to put on um, big platforms. So um, plan is to just get them on big shows and just see where it really takes push them. them, push them in Edinburgh and obviously Glasgow and wherever we can put them. Really, so obviously if we expand, they'll be on all those events. But yeah, I just thought let's announce launch we agency and you know give people the opportunity and take the stress off them getting DMs off everyone. We'll just handle that and you know it's good. It's a good thing to do. You getting a lot of interest? Um, yeah, we've got a lot of interest and. Um, we're going to be putting some of them in uh, Ibiza as well, so just stay tuned for the announcement on that. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, Cat, we, cats out the bag. Yeah, yeah. We expect yeah, to get that information first, of oh, course. Yeah. <laughs> Exclusives. Yeah. Exclusives. So what have you got lined up for us tonight then, Mr. Mr. Connor? Uh, well, some hard techno, mate. Some hard techno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of BPMs are we talking tonight? Uh, probably ranging 145, 160. So, yeah, keep it, keep it chill. A little bit tougher than we've had this evening and everybody's yeah. been keeping it quite housey and quite light, but it's been fun, it's been good. So we're going to get leave you a minute, get you a minute to set up and uh, we're just going to do some shout outs and then we'll we'll go, yeah, 60 seconds. Uh, good evening to Ray, uh, Ray says, good evening Connor, Jack, he said hello to Beth earlier. Uh, Stephen's saying, yes, some banging techno, absolutely. Jade's loving it. Uh, Timmy's been on the phone, big up Timmy uh, and yourself up in the Golden Acre, I hope you're having a good one. Right, Mr. Connor Coventry, are you ready? Yeah, I am, yeah. One second. <laughs> no problem. Right, don't forget to check out the social medias, the Instagram, the Facebook, in-house show. We've even got the YouTube page now, so if you want more content, you want to see what's going on behind the scenes, you can indeed. All right, right, here we go. Mr. Connor Coventry, 